I wonder if like teens buy this and put it on and they're sitting with their friends like, are you feeling it yet? <laughs> hey guys, it's Shawana Spicer. Welcome back to Hissy Fit. For those of you who don't know, back in November of 2016, California issued Proposition 64 and it was approved, which basically means marijuana is now legal for adults over the age of 21, all across the state. And that law came into effect this January of 2018. So I thought it would be appropriate to test out some hemp slash CBD products for your entertainment. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to Hissy Fit if you're not already subscribed because I'm here every single week and I'm joined by so many other cool, lovely ladies and you don't wanna miss anything. People have been talking about the health benefits of marijuana for so, so, so long. They have it in clothes, they have it in makeup, they have it in skincare, they have food. They have CBD oil, which is supposed to be good for anxiety. I've never tried it, but if you have, please let me know in the comments because I'm very curious because I'm a little anxious. Okay. I don't, I mean, I am anxiety. So I have some fun beauty products here that I'm going to be trying and I want to see, you know, what happens. What's the benefit? How do I feel when I use it? Basically, is it worth the hype? So I have three hemp products here. Sorry, it's called Hemp's with a Z and it has a marijuana leaf on it. I'm gonna start off using this massage oil. I don't know, do you think this is just like a gimmick because it's like so many people are like obsessed with weed and they're like, well, if we put it on the packaging, then people will be into it. So I'm just gonna squirt this on my arm. And this is a massage oil. Mmm, that smells good. Not like marijuana, but like just like fresh cut herbs or something. I wonder if like teens buy this and put it on and they're sitting with their friends like, are you feeling it yet? It is kind of funny though when you think about it because when I was growing up, there wasn't so many different options like there are now to get high off marijuana. There was smoking a joint, you know, the old classic way. So if you were caught doing that, you know, you're like, oh my God, caught red handed. But I feel like now there's like creams, there's oils, there's candies. And I, I just think it's funny to like imagine like the future generation being like, like their parents walking in on them like, I wasn't, I wasn't. It's not mine, it's Samantha's, it's Samantha's lotion. Okay, so I really like this. This is like a dry oil. Like I would honestly use this like right out of the shower. I think this would be nice. Also, they're paraben free, gluten free, vegan. And THC, so whatever. <laughs> Doesn't get you high. Next, I'm gonna be trying this lip balm, which I'm actually super excited about because my lips are so dry right now. Oh, I used too much. This tastes like Skittles. How scary would it be though if this did get you high and you put on lip balm? And then imagine just like going up and kissing people and you're just getting them high. And then what if they don't want to get high? Like I'm someone who does not want to get high. Getting high makes me freak out majorly. It's not fun for me. It's not fun for anyone involved. Just ask my friends in high school. But I can get down with these products. The next thing I got is this Pure Hemp Ultra Hydrating Herbal Hand and Foot Glaze. Mm, but this smells really good. It smells just like the oil. I'm gonna put it on my hands because nobody needs to see my foot up on camera, okay? It's not that kind of channel. It seems like a thick cream, but it comes off like very like serum-like. I like it. Did anyone else grow up with like strict parents? Like my mom's really chill, but my dad, like even though this doesn't have THC in it and couldn't get you high, it's like not a drug. My dad would be like, mm-mm. Not my daughter. I feel like there probably is like tweens out there who are like putting, who are like sneaking this into their house and like rubbing it on and being like, are you feeling it? Because I definitely remember smoking clove cigarettes with my friends and being like, I think I'm high. <laughs> okay, the last thing I'm going to be trying is this high CBD pain and wellness formula body lotion by Lord Jones. This is like a super high end luxury Tiger Bomb, if you will. So it's something that's supposed to be good for sore muscles, any like skin irritations or anything like that. And this actually does have CBD oil in it and the high concentration. And it's supposed to be very medicinal. Again, I've never tried anything CBD. I've never ingested it or anything like that. I am very sore on my neck and shoulders right now. I'm pretty much always sore there because I that's where I carry all my stress. I'm like constantly like, hi, how are you? Like. If you see me like this, like I'm, I've got a lot on my plate. <laughs> so I'm gonna try it there. Putting it on, so far it just feels like a cream. 
A really nice cream though. Maybe I am high. <laughs> oh, that smells like a Christmas tree, like fresh cut pine. Oh, now I'm feeling a, like a cooling effect. Is this my new de-stress secret? Okay, so far I'm impressed with CBD. Okay, and now I'm just uh, lubed up with hemp oil and CBD oil and I just feel relaxed and ready to just sit on the couch and watch hours and hours of Netflix. Well, that's all the products I have for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments, what do you think about Prop 64? What do you think about CBD oil? Have you tried it? I'm honestly, please let me know and I will see you next week.